world we live in, things seem to move right a lot. So that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about, position and time today. This is going to be a future video on velocity and acceleration. That's exactly what I'm going to be talking about, the physics of motion and how to calculate your speed. If you're speeding at 100 kilometers per hour, and how to actually measure that in meters per second, and how to actually calculate the position and time. So let's speed into it! driving across uh, Victoria Street in Adelaide. Um, you come across a red light and you stop. And then exactly as soon as the car hits and the light hits green, you zoom across and you speed up and you go way faster than you're supposed to go at 100 kilometers per hour. But how do you calculate this on a graph and how do you calculate it in meters per second? Now to do this, I'm going to make a graph. In one axis, there's going to be the position and in one, another axis, there's going to be time. And now as you can see, in like say five seconds, you just see on the position there's a change because you've gone way faster. For example, like just like this. So you've got 100 kilometers per hour, and you can measure that on the position. So once you're cruising at 100 kilometers per hour, then you can see that on the position axis. Because once you've got 100 kilometers per hour, that happens in the amount of time that you went 100 kilometers per hour. So that's going to be on the time axis, and then you sped up across the position axis. So you have a big curve in the position and time axis. So that's how that works. So let's say you were going at 100 kilometers per hour and you went like that, exactly like that. It's pretty exact, but this will happen because it could easily be 102 or 106, but just for my example. You go an hour at 100 kilometers per hour. On the time axis, it's going to be one hour. On the uh, position axis, it's going to be 100 kilometers because you've got 100 kilometers per hour for an hour, so it's going to be 100 kilometers. So that's exactly how you measure the position and time. There's going to be a future video on velocity and acceleration, but this is what you need about position and time. And now this can apply to anything when you're walking across the street reading a book, which is quite nice, or when you're speeding across 100 km per hour in a car. So I hope you enjoyed my short video about position and time. Um, stay tuned for the next video, not the next video, but a future video on velocity and acceleration. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.